Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Yes, I've been pretty absent lately. <sighs> if you're new here, welcome. This is about me, my life, crochet, cats, food, all the things that I like. If you've been here before, you already knew that part. Thank you for coming back and putting up with me because it's been crazy lately. I haven't been watching other people's videos. I rarely even get to watch any lives that I normally participate in. It has just been insanity in my life. For real. Okay. But key to the new to me vehicle, new to us vehicle. Um, last week's drama was last week. So you can watch that to find out how I ended up with this. But yes, I have my key. Got my little tiny purse too. I'm going to put that down over there. Um, also in the midst of all the drama from last week, one thing I forgot to mention, I have a new medical device. Yeah, I've got a CGM that's a continuous glucose monitor. So that's something neat and new. Um, basically I wear a doohickey and it talks to my phone. It also talks to another device that I haven't set up yet because it works on my phone. So why bother? Um, to monitor my blood sugar literally every five minutes and transmit it to my phone all the time. And I finally got to hear what an alarm sounds like on it. Oh my gosh, you are going to hear that ish, okay? For real. Because, some of y'all know, I've, I've talked about it before, I'm very open about it. I deal with some mental health struggles, as many of us do. Um, stress, anxiety, stress makes my eczema act up. Look at that, that's, it's, it's really yucky on my face as well, so yay. Um, so it's been very stressful, so that's really flaring up. But the other day I was just having, it was stress, it was hormones, because at 52 I am still dealing with that crap as well. I'm really annoyed by that, by the way. Seriously, I'm gonna take that uterus out with a spork one of these days. But it was all kind of happening at once. So I was like binging, just eating, not really all the things, but a lot of the things, okay? Had a bowl full of pretzels, and then I had some like, not exactly corn nuts, they're like esquites, they're like Mexican corn nuts. And then I had a couple of pieces of candy, and I waited too long to dose my insulin for it, because insulin takes a while to react. So yeah, my blood sugar crept up, it went up over 250. Don't be alarmed, okay? A low will kill you much faster than a high will. Um, but it, and it beeps. And then you can swipe it to pause it. And then it tests you again. And if it's still not below that threshold, it beeps again. And I don't mean like a little tiny beep. I mean, the only way to shut it off is to turn off your phone. Even if you silence your phone, because it goes with the alarms, it's going to beep. Boy, was it loud too. I was like, oh, well now I know what it sounds like. Yay. So yeah, I had that happen. And it, it, you know, it took about half hour to 45 minutes for it to finally get down below that. And then it was fine. I was back into normal for me, which is still too high, but whatever. Yeah. So I had a binge moment so with me. I go back and forth. It's either eat all the things or I'm so stressed out. I can't eat it all. I mean, you can't tell, you know, looking at this, but it happens. And that's not good for you either, really. So there was that. Um, in addition to my drama, because we know I've had a lot of drama lately with the car blowing up and with work just being uber stressful and all of that stuff. Um, one of my very dearest friends, who you've seen his hand on the channel before, he's a good friend of ours, has been for years. He quite abruptly and quite stupidly got fired. And I say stupidly, he didn't do anything stupid, okay? He and his co-worker, his co they were in their insecurity. Not like contract security, but like, you know, actual security stuff. His co-worker let somebody in who is always on the, yeah, y'all can come in list. Always. Um, they have a badge. They're allowed in. They come in every week. It's a thing. His co-worker let him in without, you know, checking the official list because dude man's always here, right? And there was nothing saying don't let him in. He actually should have been on the list, but he wasn't on the list. And that was just a clerical mistake that somebody else made. So his co-worker let him in and he didn't double check later. He saw him there. He was like, hey, hey, dude man, you know, whatever his name is, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So the next morning they come into work, seven o'clock. 
Before 8 o'clock, he was back home. Been with that company for over six years. One of their best employees in that department. Oh, his lead was pissed. Everybody in the department was like, what? Are you kidding me? And he, he, we talk every day on the phone late in the afternoon. Uh, you know, although I don't call anybody, but he calls. I take his calls because I'm usually still working and I ch chit chat. He's like, yeah, I had an eventful day. I'm like, what? You know, what's up? What happened at work? Because, you know, we usually talk about crazy work stuff, right? And he told me he got fired. And cue the expletives from my mouth. Okay. Apparently his wife had the same exact reaction. She and I are a lot alike actually. And we each wanted to go down and start throat punching people because, you know, that's kind of how we react and what we do because we feel very protective of those around us. We feel that when our, our people are wrong, we're going to make it right. And she's a tough broad from Boston. I'm just me. I, yeah, there was a meme that pretty much describes me. I sent it to the hubby and he was like, yeah, that's you. Said me, you know, I'm a walk in the park. And the response is, yeah, a park in the ghetto at 2 a.m. Go figure. Anyway, still not happy about this that situation. I'm still like, wanting to rage at somebody or something who deserves it. At least I've grown. I've grown. Okay. I don't mean just with wise. I've grown because in years past before the calming influence of the hubby and stuff, because he really has helped me calm down. He is very chill. Um, I would have just hopped in the car, driven up there and just started punching or driven through a gate, probably ended up arrested. So it's good that I've grown. I'm just saying, we can grow as we get older. <clears throat> Let's just say, I, I know that he's not happy about the situation. I know his wife's not happy about the situation. She is a dear close friend, more like a sister to me. And we both want to just rawr, Hulk smash the world because there's no reason that he should have been fired. Seriously. So anyway, that's the stress this week. And yes, it stresses me out because, you know, you choose your family, right? Once you get, grow up and you realize blood don't mean nothing, when the blood's what, the ones are going to hurt you, you choose your family. They are part of my family and have been for a very long time and always will be. So, you know, I'm right there. Mm get me riled up again. I better get off of that subject. Okay. I'm just saying, but yeah, that has been my week. A lot of work. We've taken some rides in the vehicle, nice, cool, calming rides. I have been very, very tired due to the uh, uterine influx that deal that I have to deal with still. This was a particularly bad one though really bad. So it just wears me out. It makes me super tired. So I'm finally recovering from that. I'm able to, you know, function during the day a little bit without extra caffeine. Oh, speaking of caffeine, where'd it go? When we, when we go out for a ride, we'll generally stop at a convenience store someplace and pick up a little snack and a beverage. So we did last night and I actually have some of these in can format. Um, in the kitchen right now because I adore this flavor of Mountain Dew and they finally have some in a diet in a zero format and they've released it where you don't have to go to Taco Bell to get it. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Baja Blast. I love the Baja Blast flavor. I don't drink a lot of sodas anymore. You'd never know it by the fact that I have two <laughs> 12 packs of the cans in, in the kitchen right now. Well, one's missing a few, but I really adore this flavor. It's kind of a lime flavor more than just a regular Mountain Dew. Yeah, very bad for you. It's zero. I know it's artificial sweeteners. Look, it's easier than, than injecting myself to make up for a soda, okay? So there is that. Caffeine will rule the world, yes. Anyway. 
that was pretty much the extent of my shopping. Um, the hubby's bed is up and it's, it's, it's done deal. I ordered him a mattress protector that's just like mine. That should be in today. Oh, wait, I did purchase something else and I hope that I brought it in here. If not, I'm kind of a doofus. I did bring it. I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of a doofus, but. Uh, on Prime Day, I ordered this. A set of Clover Amore hooks. Because I got my first Clover Amore with a kit that I won to make the bag. A few weeks ago, I showed you the bag that I made uh, from a kit that I won. There was one Clover Amore hook in there. So I've bought another one since then. So I have duplicates of some of the more popular sizes that I use. But this is everything from a two millimeter to a six millimeter. And yes, and I do have some El Cheapo versions of this too. And those are fine. The only problem with the El Cheapos oops, lost little plastic doohickey, is that the rubbery part starts to slide off the hook part. You're crocheting and all of a sudden the shaft of your crochet hook is this long. And I was like, what is going on? That's what's going on. So anyway, I love the way these feel in my hand. Um, I'm a knife gripper. I'm not a pencil gripper. I can barely hold a pencil to do regular stuff. So my handwriting, if you ever saw it, you'd understand. But yes, I like these hooks. So I treated myself to a set of Clover Amores. And I will probably end up picking up some individual hooks to duplicate ones. Because when I'm doing a project or something, I like to keep the hook with it. I don't like to have to go, oh gosh, what hook am I using? Yes, I know, I wrote it down, but where did I put that piece of paper? Because, again, I'm kind of a doofus sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to put this down before I drop it too. Ta-da! All right. I know that I had, oh! Something else I wanted to talk about in the realm of mental health. Um, there has been just a lot going on in my life, obviously. And people have been checking on me. Thank you. Even if I have not responded, sometimes it's just, I see it and I go, yes, I need to respond. I need to say something, but I just, can't because I've been putting all of my mental energy really into work. Um, having to always look when you get into a position where you are, I quote, team lead and you have to be that positive person all the time and you have to coach somebody in a positive way, even when they are not, you know, that takes a lot of mental energy. And it's taken a lot of mental energy for me the last couple of weeks because of some of the things going on. Uh, the supervisor that I support, she's actually pretty awesome. Um, I'm literally older than her mother. She's very young, but she is driven, she's smart, and she's really good at what she does. A lot of the people on the team that she supervises don't respect her because she's young. Look, I will respect you no matter your age, so long as you're deserving of some respect, and she is. Um, and we work well together as a team, which is really good. She realizes, I think now, that I'm not going to disrespect her just because of her youth. You know, we discuss ideas and how to do stuff with the team, and it's really cool. Uh, but other people on the team, they don't feel that way. We have some young people, we have some older people, you know, and everybody in between. And, boy, different personalities can be fun. Mm-hmm. But, Yes. So that has been a thing and she's been out. She's going to have a baby, I think. Well, she goes out for maternity leave in October and then it will be just kind of just me and the director. So we're having to have me learn some stuff that I didn't know how to do before to help with all of that. So that's going to be fun. Actually, some of it I don't mind doing, uh, the call monitoring. Yeah, we have to, you have to score the calls because customers call our department and we have to, you know, treat them a certain way, even if they're yelling at you and stuff like that. But we have to score the calls. You know, did you greet correctly? Did you have a good tone throughout? Did you finish whatever transaction you had to do as far as whatever systems that we work in and stuff? It's all a thing. Oh, and besides that at work, there is a system migration going on for everything. If you think that IT stuff and system migrations always go smoothly, 
you're wrong. Half of our stuff was down one day. We've still had some things off. Matter of fact, I didn't even work today because another system was migrating last night into this morning and our, our department basically just said, no overtime on Saturday, you're done. Just no, we're not doing it. So, okay, I have the day off, yay. So what do I do? Hubby had sat down and accidentally hit one button on the TV instead of the other and ended up in live TV on Roku and he like clicked on something that was there. And it was the very beginning of the original Highlander movie, which I'm a big fan of the Highlander series. There can be only one, you know. Um, so we sat there and watched the whole thing, commercials and <laughs> all. So yeah, that took a chunk of my time this morning. I could have been up being productive, but we were enjoying that. And the effects, I had forgotten how cheesy the effects are in that movie. Whoa. I mean, it was the mid 80s. So yeah, the effects were kind of cheesy, but it was fun. And then I got to thinking um, about the actors in the movie. You know, the guy, I don't, you ever watch Highlander? I know some of you have because we wear nerds and we watch these things. But you gotta wonder, the guy that plays Kurgan, what is he like in real life? And I, I didn't bother going and looking him up because I mean, you know, that was 35 years ago movie. So he's probably old and maybe dead by now. I don't know, I don't know who he is. But <laughs> he is this dude who's literally like seven foot tall and just, just mean dude, ah, uh, you know, smash all the things and scare all the people and all of that. But you gotta wonder, in real life, what's he like? Because if you tend to give off an intimidating presence, you normally have to purposely tone it down. Because out there in public, a lot of times you can't truly just let it all hang out and be yourself because some people get scared. As a larger person, now I'm almost six foot tall and for years I wore high heels and everything all the time and always walked around with a big old attitude on. Um, yeah. I had to learn to tone it back. Like one time I had a manager and she was awesome, loved her to death, but she called me into her office and apparently I intimidated someone. They think you're intimidating. I'm like, I will help anybody who asks me, but apparently I have, you know, like RBF, if I'm not worried about it, RBF, resting bitch face, okay? So I look mean and, and just cross and intimidating that hurt me so bad to think that somebody was too scared to come and ask me for help. So over the years, I have made a conscious effort to school my face, to be approachable. Luckily now, we work over computers. Most of the time people can't see me. I can be flipping them birds, you know, through the computer screen as long as we don't have cameras on, we're cool. But yes, have to be approachable have to be a little meek and sweet instead of, you know, being the rage-filled biatch that a lot of times I actually am. We all have many facets. We do. This is me. When you guys see me on these videos, it really is me. But it is just one part of me. Um, anybody goes after someone I love, physically, verbally, whatever, I am like, mama bear the hubby has referred to me that as before we don't have kids but he's like yeah I want to take mama bear with me to the store <laughs> if somebody bumps him or, or just you know goes all stupid with him he could fall down and seriously hurt himself he has back issues walks with a cane sometimes with a walker the struggle is real anybody even looks at him cross and I'll be there in the face because I am protective anyway there was actually crochet, I promise you. There wasn't a lot of crochet this week because there has been all the stress. Um, but I have one, counted one, finished object. One, it's not big. Well, I kind of have one and a half, but I don't know if I showed the last one last week. Yes, Oscar. Oh, wait, before we do the crochet, hold on, pardon me. Look, you barged your way in here. You're going on camera. Hi, Oscar, hey. Don't ignore the camera. You're the one that barged in here. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Did you just fart? I think he just farted on me. That was rude. Yeah, it was. It was rude. <laughs> oh. But he's so cute. You can't stay mad at him. 
Nooky tit, sweet little chin. Want some nose rubs? Yeah. I know, we have to get our dose of Oscar in the video, or it's not a video, right? And yes, he loves having his nose rubbed. He's mama's little weirdo. Are you mama's little weirdo? Yeah. Oh, you like that nose rubs, don't you? What's it matter? Did I stop? Hi. What are you purring about? You don't know? Boop. You want to get down? Okay. I'll let you down. Good boy. Good boy. But I really think he farted on me. Yeah. That was rude. Anyway, crochet. <laughs> one finished object. The one that maybe I finished last week, but I don't remember. Look. Look. Tis a little face cloth. It is done uh, out of oh, one of the cottons. I don't think that it was Premier Just Cotton. It's one of the other ones. But it is 100% cotton. This one, this one is not a blend. I think. Maybe, no, this was Premier Just Cotton. Sorry, this is the stuff I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, in the moss stitch, and then I bordered it with a half double crochet because I really like half double crochet. But I find that for face cloth, I like a good solid fabric. It has a, enough texture to it. This is just big enough to where, at the end of the day, you're washing your face because you have some makeup on or whatever. You wash it. Little bitty thing. You're done. You know, the face isn't that big. You don't need a cloth this big. But made for myself. And this is something I can do while watching TV very easily. Toss that to the bed. And, well, I have to show you the temperature blanket progress. First, let me show you the blanket in general. I believe I showed you last week where the uh, latest... Uh, row was added on. Look at that. Yes, the dark and the dark colors are continuing this week. I'll show you in a second. Lots and lots of very, very warm temperatures. Inner color is the low, outer color is the high. Wonky numbers are the beginning of the month. I mean, yeah, I'm doing the best I can. But uh, yeah, we're about to start August. So I'm going to have another number in there soon. I'm really digging this. I kind of love the way it looks and the way it's turning out. It's fun. And this is the next row so far. I keep a little stitch marker that I've been keeping all year with this to start the beginning of the row so that I know which is the front and which is the start of the row. Okay. Because I am putting them on there every day. It's like I look at these all the same. All oh, hot AF. Okay. Hot AF. You know, if I live someplace where the humidity varied, I could do a humidity blanket because the humidity, I mean, you could actually do a temperature blanket, but instead of the actual temperature, do like the heat index or the real feel with the humidity. That would make things super different, super different. Anyway, I keep that in this while I'm working on it. And my, uh, Hashtag Rock 2022 AU, which another album inspiration will come out on the first. Um, my square. This is for Elvis. Um, I don't know if it's called Christmas album. Greatest Christmas, something like that. I'll have the picture at the end with this. I'm making a big, it's going to be a big old blanket. Um, out of squares that I'm doing every two weeks or so with Judy at Witch Peaks Crafts. Uh, she'll be linked there down below someplace uh, for her crochet along. And I'm being inspired by the colors in an album cover. Ta-da. There we go. Because there was Christmas in July. These are my squares so far. There's a lot of these suckers. Like I said, this is going to be huge. It's going to be colorful. And I'm really kind of digging it, you know, and I can kind of remember a lot of the albums when I look, I go, oh yeah, that was for this, that was for that. So I'm really kind of tickled with that. Um, got it done a little early this time instead of waiting until literally the last minute to get it posted like I did last time. See, starting to get it all calmed down. Crochet wise, I don't really know what's coming up. There's so much stuff I want to make. There's so much stuff. I got to pause this. I have got a hair. Hang on. Sorry, if you ever had long hair, 
you get one loose and it lands in your mouth and you're going bleh. Finally got rid of it. My hair is getting long. I don't know if I want to cut it or what. It's very frizzy because humidity and I've even put stuff on it to unfrizz it and it's still going poof. <sighs> so tired of the humidity. Uh, I may not even show you my plants this week because my tomato plants look kind of sad because all the red tomatoes are gone and they are in my belly. I mean, by now they're past my belly, but okay. Um, they've all been small. That's because I have too many plants in each pot. Lesson learned, but the tomatoes have been delicious. Oh, hubby can't really eat tomatoes straight up because his stomach just hates them. I mean, his stomach will revolt, okay? But I cut the top off one because I wanted to get the core out. And I said, could just smell this? And I, he was like, oh my God, that smells so good. Because it does. There's nothing like a fresh tomato, right? So yeah, I, I sliced them up and they're little. So I just, I put some good old mayo on, a, on some white bread. And I just put a little bit of salt on those and then put them on there. And then just eat it and it's a mess and I don't care. Because they're yummy. So yes, I've been doing that. Uh, I do have some of my Brazilian starfish reds. Right now they're a little bitty and they're green, but they're growing and I'm kind of tickled about that because I cannot wait to try them. Um, so yes, some peppers. My yard is a mess. And I mean, like, things are growing. We've had so much rain and then sunshine and then rain and then sunshine, which I know that's good for the plants and stuff, but it's not good because you walk out there and so many things with thorns have grown up because we don't have like grass seed we'd have put out or anything because what, why? There's enough actual natural plants out there, but a lot of them have thorns. Oh, we got some big ones with thorns out there and it's been too hot to go out with the mower and this morning it wasn't, but I was like, I'm not doing it. And then we started watching Highlander. What happens when you get lazy sometimes like I do anyway oh and I discovered this when I was moving stuff around the other day and I forgot to put a button on it this is a towel that I made like quite a while ago and I may not have shown it because I hadn't finished it by putting the button on it yet this is just premier home cotton and I think the color is splash or something if I remember correctly the variegated color no pattern just you know beginner crochet brain and just a nice one to hang and dry your hands on, which I need to finally put the button on it so that I can use it because it's ready. It's time. It's been here for months. Anything else over here new? No. My yarn keeps screaming to me. Smiley's went out of business. I can't buy any more cool yarn at Smiley's. Everybody keeps having sales and I'm going, no, no more yarn. No more yarn right now. And no, Karen, I still have not put up my cubes. Um, but hopefully soon. I need to do some rearranging in here before I put up more cubes. So that, that's why it has not happened. And I'm looking around and it's very overwhelming and that just sets my anxiety off again. Yay. Anxious girl is anxious. Okay. Just saying. Hope that your week has been less stressful than mine. Although I know we all have our different stresses. Oh, it's a butterfly out there. Cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not just squirrels. Sometimes it's butterflies. Uh, <laughs> but I do thank you for coming and just hanging out for this craziness this week. I'm going to try to get more videos done. Oh, and if you have sent me your um, Yarnivore's monthly theme pictures, don't worry. I will get your entries over. I know I didn't put up a video this month. I'm actually hosting August, so there will be videos and I will have a prize and everything for that. But your entries that got sent to me, no worries, they will get sent over. I will try to put up a video of the entries I got sent because everything just kind of went straight past me this month. Yeah, I haven't done tea videos. I haven't done hot taste videos. I haven't even done snack videos. I have a new Sip Spy box that I haven't opened. I have a new Munch Attic box that I haven't opened. What? Told you, stress, lots of stress. Speaking of, I got chores I got to do around the house. I just do. I have laundry in the dryer. <laughs> I will see y'all very, very soon. See you on the YouTube streets. Hopefully I've got to start watching people's videos. And um, please take care. Bye y'all.